guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Dutch World Conquest campaign here in EU4. And I did a little bit of stuff in the meantime. I let some time pass. We are ready to go ahead and uh, take this guy and all he's worth. So Dutch Africa grows. As I like to say, we can core all of it up. No questions asked. I don't believe there's any of this that needs added to a uh, so many just like low dev provinces. Our dev is looking quite good. Quite, quite good. Uh, I haven't done any math suit lately, but I'm thinking we're still totally fine as far as dev goes. I'm thinking I need to start deleting some forts because my income is not that great. Let's delete like all these level 8 forts down here. None of these matter. None of these are ever going to be used for anything. Uh, except for, you know, rebel issues, but... I'm not too concerned about rebels, so let's go ahead and just delete all the forts. I don't care about the devastation over here, because this land is never going to make me money. There we go. I will keep these two, though. Yeah, I'll keep these two, but i get rid of that one as well. Right? Okay, there we go. Go ahead and get rid of all these ones. Each one of these forts is costing me money. See, look at that. Now we're up to a net positive. Pretty good net positive as well. All right, so. <laughs> look at this overextension. This is crazy. So is France... How much dev does he even have? 25% I'd be able to full annex him. <clears throat> Charua? I don't even know who that is. Is this capital down here? Where's his capital? Oh, it is Baron. Bian. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and attack these New World natives. Call in Chakota, who will call in Ottawa. So hopefully we'll be able to get them all taken. So let's go ahead and show superiority on them. Uh, as soon as this war is, truces up with Spain, we're going to full annex Spain in this next war, and I am so excited about it. Because that's going to give us basically the rest of the New World, barring a couple of these natives down here. So in the meantime, I came over here, I backwiped a few of the Mazron's truce um, forces. Go ahead and get you guys over there. Forgot to do that. Go ahead and have you guys come over here. Start working on him. It's fine. Get Send full occupied. Flemish separatists, huh? I did not see those guys, so... They are new to me. Go ahead and get you guys over there with Gerben, or however that's pronounced. Go ahead and convert some stuff, that's fine. Convert some more stuff, that's fine. Income is up to 700, jeez OP. Where did that come from? Oh no. Oh, it's because we took a bunch from the war. I was like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Unfortunate. Alright, so... We're gonna need to uh take all that. So he Kaffa broke free. Akuria is still a vassal of the Ottoman. What's Ottomans so we need to go to war with Russia ASAP. I guess it's gonna take us quite a few wars to break him up. So let's just go ahead and do it. He'll call in Austria, but I don't care at all. I will, however, scoot at you. So I can in so I can annex him whenever we're done with the war that we're in right now, the wars. It's gonna be a few years, so I guess it's not a big deal, but uh, it's all good. So let's go ahead and declare war on Russia. Uh, let's get another general in there. Get one up here as well. I think we have Constantine over here, but not anymore. So let's have you guys come over here. You guys come over there, over there. Where were those rebels at? Min separatists. Okay. Let's go ahead and send half them down there. We're going to need to go to war over here ASAP as well. We approve. Interest per annum. Hey, that's pretty good. It's definitely going to help us out quite a bit. Save some more money. Age of Kovno. It's mine. Smolensk. We need to fight some of his um, armies, though. That's the pro That's what we're looking for. Got some men over here, apparently. 
Get you guys up here. Get that fort level siege down. Um... The idea is we'll be able to go to war with, um... We'll be able to go to war with, uh... These guys over here, Manchuria, and he won't defend them. That's the goal. Losing some ships randomly. Eh, what are you gonna do? You know, it happens. Let's get that income back up. Let's go ahead and come up here. Hopefully Prussia would back me up. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Might be a stack wipe anyways. No, not a stack wipe, but definitely a good fight for us. These are all level 2 forts, aren't they? They are. <laughs> oh, Russia. This won't be a problem at all. I still want to spend the mill points on sieging them. That means we're getting that plus 8 on every one of these forts. Should be a very quick siege for almost all of them. Okay, so these guys are all going to get fully annexed. Whenever they get sieged down. And these guys have some forts. Level 8 fort. This is level 2. What's their capital fort? A level 1? Level 2? Okay, so they just have one level 8 fort. So that's no problem. There's some Hamburgian separatists over here. Let's back up here to Cairo. Oh wait, this is Mazaran. Let's go ahead and make our way over this way then. Jeez. Not necessarily sure if I need to take land from them. I probably should. I don't need to though. Okay, take their capital. That's nice. Whenever we get the chance, I guess. There we go. Let's go ahead and just, you know, kill off these little stacks of artillery that are running around. There we go, take the siege of Moscow. Ryzon is a steps fort. He doesn't have a general and he's not going, no, he put a general on there. So that's a stack wipe for both of them. Very good. Sheesh. All right, so let's go ahead and get everybody separated over here and start carpet sieging that guy down. This is all my land now. One more. We can full occupy, full annex all of these guys. Amonis has gone bankrupt. All of this should be going to my vassals. That's a Portuguese Louisiana. There we go. Take all the money. There we go. Looking clean as ever. Okay, so we don't want to peace out Sind until 34. So, I guess this war with uh, the Russians is more or less a war of uh, making sure that they can't come back from it. Like we got attacked somewhere. The Russians are attacking me. The Russians are coming. I don't care about that stack. Go ahead and make sure we kill those guys. Alright, let's get you guys up there. Let's force march you up there. Got here and here. Get you guys down there. Get you guys up here. Maybe a stack wipe up here. It'd be cool if it was. And it was. Oh baby. We'll repay that loan, that's fine. Maybe we can get another stack wipe over here. Oh yeah, the Russians literally have no they have no chance at all. Cool. Well this is going quite well. Better than I was expecting it to. They still have a lot of manpower, but uh I'm not sure what their money situation looks like. They have some loans. 
Ottomans have lots of loans. Spain has some loans. France has lots of loans. Bohemia doesn't have any. Portugal is a thing. I didn't know Portugal was a thing. Let's see here. Yeah, they're not a thing. Okay, that's interesting. That it kind of thinks that they are. Okay, so let's get you guys all up grouped up. So we don't get killed by that, like, 45 stack over there. Alright, when is our truce coming with you? November, so let's go ahead and truce out in, like, May. Go ahead and peace out Mazran separately. Or, like, probably just a white piece to make sure that we, um... Hmm... None of those appeal to me. It's an unfortunate thing because I'm losing a bunch of money from having that, but... Bavaria has lost the coalition, left the coalition. Um, I would like morale, but I guess I'll just go with level 3 discipline. I guess? I don't know. Be able to annex them in June of next year. Oh, they're sieging stuff back. Feels bad, man. It's all Mazdaran. It's literally all Mazdaran. So as soon as we piece them out... So we just need to win their capital and we're good to go. Okay, so let's get you guys over there. Get you guys, like, somewhere down here. I'm gonna siege down the steps. Maybe Crimea. Okay. Stack wiping a bunch of folks. Go ahead and get you guys split up. Yeah, it's fine. Peace out Mazdaran. Or white piece? Or do we... Break their alliance with the Mughals? They're guaranteeing Russia? No. Yeah, okay. I was misreading that. Okay, so let's just have them break their alliance with the Mughals. That's fine with me. Because this will allow me to piece him out. Um, November. So, we're going to wait until like April. I mean, May is what I said. So, let's take that stab. Yes, please. Can we full annex him? That's the question. It's going to be very close. We can fully annex him. <laughs> we have the admin as well. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and add all that in there. That is not a uh, trade company region. Beautiful. It's a lot of overextension, but it's only for a couple of months, so it probably won't be an issue. There we go. Now that is an absolute beauty of a conquest right there. Woohoo! All right, we just broke up Mazdaran's alliance with the Mughals, though he's guaranteed by like half of the world. How are you at war with Manchu? What's that about? Manchurian Mughal imperialist war. Interesting. Well, that'd be really good if Manchu were to lose some men then. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. Sounding like the American mainstream media, you know? So... Do we bring in Novgorod? Because Novgorod... What is it? Novgorod has some special... Let me see here. Novgorod E4. They get you. They have some special ability when it comes to like making things very cheap for them, right? Something. Let me see here. They always take admin ideas. Hmm. I might be making that up. I was thinking that they got some bonus. No, they just get some free cores. Okay. Well, in that case, we will. Just probably do a client state because we're gonna need to piece this out and there's no reason not to um, sooner we piece the sooner we 
Oh, we can get plenty of this over here to uh, Russia as well. So we're going to take all of it for ourselves, though. And uh, we'll just give him what he deserves from the, you know. Oh, I forgot we were even at war with Austria. That's funny. All right, so we'll take whatever we can with the war score that we have. Um, Go ahead and just take as much. Eh, dang it. Yeah, he's not going to let us take a whole lot. Okay, never mind. We're going to keep sieging him down. We're going to need to take as much as we can. It's going to be important. Let's go ahead and like... Ugh. Can we get, a, get some guys over there? Yeah, we can. Let's go ahead and siege him down. See if we can just kick Austria out. Cindy Separatists. Yes. Go ahead and get you guys over there. Get you guys over to Sinop. And then have you guys come on down to like Hisakaifa. Trading in fur, very nice. We have a coal province, so that's good. It will certainly be end up being useful. Let's go ahead and get these guys sieging down. There we go. Do we actually have rebels coming? Say you've been. Cebu? No. Oh, dang. Yeah, because we're overextended, it's probably going to fire. Feels bad, man. I am going to just... Um... Well, maybe we won't anymore, actually, if we can just click the buttons. Might be good. Up. I'm done. So hamburger separatists and the Cindy separatists are all going to be handled, so we're good. Yep, those guys are going to force march over there. By the way, in between episodes, I took the force march age ability. It's very nice. It's a nice age ability. It's useful. That's the big thing. Won the Siege of Crimea. Let's go ahead and break these guys down go and as we siege him down we'll be able to get him closer and closer to 100 percent go go this month everything's gonna be good beautiful and now we're not overextended anymore. All right, let's start working on this piece. Cause he's sieging stuff back already. So let's just go ahead and do that. Where were those rebels at? Catholic zealots somewhere. Not doing a one faith, don't care. All right, so now let's take whatever we can here. Let's try to keep the states all together. There we go. Let's take like as much stuff up here as possible as well. Make our name a little bit bigger, you know? I guess. Yeah, we got a fight going on over here, unfortunate. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I bought him a couple of points of enthusiasm. Really? Okay, yeah, that's kind of not cool. Um, Let's win these two little sieges over here. And there we go. Okay, whatever. This is fine. Austria will white piece. If I 
get on Trevisio. Or Treviso, or however it's pronounced. Go ahead and just white piece them. That will give us a lot more war score. There we go. Go ahead and take all that. Go ahead and take that back. There we go. Revolutionary Netherlands. Growing larger and larger as we speak. I'll probably give Russia basically everything up to here. Assuming he's cored everything over here. Territorial core. So he's cored everything over there. Very good. I probably should. I will give him Diplo points. Yeah, I'm not going to do that then. I will give him some more land though. No reason not to. Especially considering he's going to just continue to keep becoming a larger and larger, more monstrous vassal. So let's give him this one. It's a uh, Cowan. Give him this... Maiten, Upita, Hold again, uh, Mitao, Riga, Gwenden, Dorp, <laughs> a good one, Dorp, Leafland, Is that named after Leif Erikson. Just kidding. He's Icelandic. At least I believe he was Icelandic. Leif Erikson. Uh, let's see here. Leafland. Raval. Need to be careful because he's going to get overextended here. Sell. Oh no, he's cool. Grant Province. Raval. And Narwa. And then we will, using Moscow, release a... Uh, Moscow vassal. Let's go ahead and give him something like uh, it's fine. Background color can be yellow on yellow. Give him like a green on yellow since they're Russian. Okay. That looks good. Let's give him all this land that we just took over here. And then we don't have to core any of it ourselves. Let's see, now you're starting to see that I'm actually starting to run a little bit low on Diplo points. I very well may not take another Diplo tech for the rest of the game. It won't be an issue. I'll see what I can keep. I can take keep any of the stuff up in the north, I will. It's not a big deal to me. Okay, let's see here. Where am I at now? So I'll have to give, like, this one. Yeah, a couple more. This is a core of mine. These three are all cores. This one is not, so let's give that one to him as well. And that one to him as well. Now where am I at? There we go. It's a bit of a order gore up here, but that's fine. So then we'll just core up what we can't take. Now, matter of fact, I won't do that. Um, because I want to make sure that we are keeping my, uh, my timers all in order. So let's go ahead and give all this back to him. Change my mind. Very good. All right, so let's get you guys all grouped up over here. All right, Dev is looking good. And start our annexation of Sevilla soon. June. So, who's the next victim? France would be a good choice. Could start working our way into more HRE stuff. I should just, you know, disband the HRE, but I don't care a whole lot about it, so I don't really care that much. But, you know, we could. I suppose if I really want to finish these missions, I should just do this. 15 years of morale. Not bad. Free admin power. Sounds good. I think... I'm like a traitor of the correct culture, though. Let's get the traitor. It'll be much more useful. Dutch Mexico. There you 
go. Dutch Mexico really has 110. Jeez. Prussia's got 50,000. It's not nothing. They're making good money, too. I totally, like, don't need all their money. And they're super loyal. I won't take their trade. I don't care about it. Cool. Well, Prussia's looking really good as well. So we should probably have, like, these guys all hang out over here. Just make sure to keep the peace over here. Looks like there actually is a few of them that are down here. So let's go with, like, those guys over here. 15. They're like these four up here with them and then these guys all together over here and uh, that's pretty good you know and the unbalanced research isn't helping oh we don't have unbalanced research Too many territories is never going to go away. So we just have to accept that. All right, cool. Well, I think that's a good place to end it. We've gone really long in the last few episodes, so I'm going to have to cut this one a little bit early. Some ugly name placement, but so far so good. Later on this year, we are going to be able to start annexing Sevilla. Um, it's going to be a pretty quick or annexation as well. Well, maybe we should... Truce of Morocco. Hmm. Maybe we start annexing him and then give him a bunch more Moroccan land. That way it's like whatever he cores, we'll keep, we'll take in Diplo, but otherwise we'll just annex it and then we'll just give it him. Because we could full annex Morocco. We probably should. We could also go to war with Tunis. We should do this right now, actually. We have some armies around, so we might as well. We have our navy right here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and declare this war. And then we'll be able to declare this one very soon as well. And then, let's see here. Is there anything else that we should be doing? Milan. Looks like our um, coalition has finally given up on the idea of fighting with us. So let's go ahead and go one month forward. We're going to need to uh, have you guys make your way over this way. Nope. Oh, they have Alexandria. Well, that would make sense why I couldn't march that way. So let's get you guys over here. Whenever we can get a... Uh, I guess we can just... Yeah, we have our navy right here, so we're good. And then we are going to start annexing him next month. And who else was I going to be attacking in the meantime? Ooh. That's some rebels right there. Ottomans wouldn't join them. Afghanistan would. Bengal would. Hmm. Good. Annex Luba. Would like to attack Ayutthaya. Russia would defend him. But our truce with Russia is only... You know what? That might be my best bet. Because then I'll be able to uh, shorten the truce with him. So let's go ahead and do that. And then that'll be really good for us. We'll be able to piece him out pretty soon. So let's get some mercs down there. Just, you know, to make sure that we're not going to get outgunned over here. Yeah, we're probably fine. But still, peace of mind, you know. So let's come on over here. Where's this capital now? Let's go over here to Yaroslavl. Very good. Let's get these guys grouped up over here. And have them just work their way down that way. And that'll do it. So hope you guys are enjoying. And if you are, show your support. Leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. There's links below for um, the Discord and for our Patreon if you want to support the channel. That is the best way to do it. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot. And I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.